Okay, guys. Um, I'm back. Recovered from the crash. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. I've got uh, Asset Loader. Um, the better UI mod I don't have enabled right now. Just due to the fact that uh, they've upgraded the UI. And I don't know if the better UI clashes with it. So, I'm just rolling with stock UI now. Uh... Connolly production tweaks, uh, the coal mine uh, improvement, uh, Another there's another whistle pack, you got your F7s, the map enhancer, the multi-screen, uh, passenger UI uh, mod, and the utility mod. I will not be using that because there are a stupid amount of ways to cheat using the uh, utilities mod so in fact you know what um, I'm just going to turn that one off so yeah that way you guys know that that's what I'm doing um, that I'm on the up and up so again sorry if my map and my industry my um, career uh, menus are off on the second window but like I said uh, because of the multi-screen mod, I can't drag them back over here. They just disappear into the ether. So, unfortunately, this is how it's got to be. So, uh, single player. Let's play Auto 1. We may have to uh, redo one or two things. It's fine. Um... Yeah, I get a lot of crashes. <laughs> My poor rig. I swear, she, uh... If she could talk, she'd tell you she's abused. <laughs> um, I have a little bit of a bad habit of having way too many tabs open at any given time. Okay. Let me find out where we're at. Okay. Cool! So, we're backing up at the moment. So, we don't have to redo much. We just have to finish putting uh, our new coal car over here. Uh, Okay, so we can put that there, put on a, a handbrake. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First thing, oh, uh, yeah, uh, we have upgraded uh, sawmill tracks all around, expanded... Uh, log drop off, expanded um, wood chips and um, these are extended a little bit further too. <clears throat> uh, so, number two, why don't you come on out of there. Uh, settings, or no, locations, interchange. Alright, I have the interchange scheduled. Uh, I have everything but purchase track to Silva and progress. I can't afford those. I mean, if I was to take out 10k in loans, I could afford going to Silva. But we don't exactly have the locomotives or the cars to pull off going to Silva right now. That the, going to Silva this early on is an adventure. So we're going to take these log cars What the Alright, for some reason my fucking control key is really acting up. <laughs> oh, and by the way, yes, I'm going to be foul melt. 
Um, sorry about that. If that offends you, I'm not trying to. It's just bad habit. Operations. We got no unload location. Uh, we're going to send them to Connolly number two. Control work that time. I don't. I'll tell you what. It just. Uh. Yes, I, I, so, the keyboard and mouse I'm running with are both, um, Razer, so, yes, they're glowy little shits, um, I've always hated the idea of these glowy-ass keyboards, um, I just, I find them pointless, the, the, all the glow is going to do is show all the crap that falls in in between the keys. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to run these guys down to Connolly real quick. Now, Connolly, um, they don't exactly have a hell of a lot of logs built up just yet. And... With the uh, Connolly improvement, uh, L2 does 36 logs a day, meaning you could probably st get to tier 5 with the sawmill, and L2 would be the only uh, logging track you need. However, I'm probably going to be running a train of 8 to each uh, log 1, log 2, and log 3. I may, okay, I may redo the, um, re, uh, get the, um, the utility mod going, uh, if simply because it will allow me to spawn in, um, some, uh, some guest locomotives, let's call them. You know, like, uh, let's say Connolly Creek has a switcher of its own, you know. Yeah, I'll do that later. Oh, God damn it! Oh, motherfucker! I could have swore I hit that switch! Motherfucking pus buckets! Yeah, go on, get on out of here. Switch! God damn it! Now, with... <laughs> funny thing is, with uh, the cursing, and by now you can tell, yes, I am a foul mouth bastard. Um, no, I... I, I YouTube, I, I couldn't care less about monetization. So, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um, you you think that with a foul mouth, with a mouth as foul as I am, uh, my, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. I, I'm not going down that because, again, that's one of my banned subjects. I don't. I'm not going to talk about it. You know why? Because I'm here to escape. Real life sucks right now. So we're not going to be talking about real life. Fuck real life.
to pause the recording here, and uh, I'll see you guys down at uh, Connolly Log 2. Okay. Computer full on blue screen that time. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, my rig, um, if it could talk, it would probably tell you that it is abused. Well, let's see how much I'm going to have to redo after that. Oh. Anyway, as I was saying, the uh, the interchange is going to be probably absolutely stuffed with cars whenever we get the... Um... Oh, goody! Oh, thank you, autosave. Shit. All right. Um, also, in an effort to maybe... I don't know, give give this poor rig some more resources. Um, what I've got, I, I haven't reopened my uh, browsers as of yet. I, I, I've got a nasty little habit of opening up way, way too many shucking tabs in, um, in, the, uh, in my browsers. <laughs> I don't know why he does that. What? Why he put one log on each each car? I mean, that's kind of silly. And those should have been applied before the log mode took off. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, we won't be getting any money for all that um, that freight, unfortunately, because they're milestones. We ordered them. So, they are coming for us, not any of the industries. We're not going to be making a whole hell of a lot of money right now. Um, but that being said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shove... Uh, okay, so... The uh, East Whittier Sawmill Connector and the East Whittier Yard... Um, improve milestones. Uh, they all say the same thing, which is, um, let's see here, uh, do, 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 do. the East Whittier expansion site, which, as you can see by the highlighted area, is just that. Even after you complete the sawmill connection, it is still just that. We can get maybe nine cars in there, and that's stuffing them and positioning them just right so that the cars on either end are counted despite the fact that they're not totally in the glowing area. But, that being said, um, since both the connector, which will add on to this and come out... Uh, I think here, yeah, here, um, that will, um, it, it, they're all going to be mixed up, so I don't know which cars will be for which job, and then once we do the, um, yard, a switch will come off of this, the yard will be in this big old blank fracking area, uh, we'll get three yard tracks and then a switch that comes out to here and a little storage space back in here. Now, 
Now, <laughs> um, I say that about these projects that are going to heat up in here. Because guess what that blocks off? That blocks off the sawmill. So, I am hoping that by the time we actually get cars to deliver to the sawmill, the, um, the, the, the sawmill connector will be done at the very least. All right, where's number two at? Okay, number two is uh, near the end of the Connolly branch. Uh, hang on a second, let me get a drink of water. I got a big three liter bottle, eh, a three big three liter bottle of water uh, next to me that I'm drinking out of. Uh. But um, so okay, uh, this this line uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, the railroad depicted in this game actually exists. Well, not the Phoenix Forge and, uh, and, uh, Copperhead Road. Um, the, uh, it is actually known in this day and age as the, uh, Great Smoky Mountain Railway. And it is located in northern... Uh, sorry, uh, Western North Carolina in the town of Bryson City, which on the map is uh, where we're going to just as soon as we fix the bridge. Uh, but yeah, so it's a tourist railroad and they do run a steam engine. Now, that being said, um, there's some similarities, but there are, there's a lot different. Um, Whittier, I don't think, has any of this. No station, no industries, no nothing. Like, in through here, it's just a straight bit of track. This Y isn't there. Um... The sawmill isn't there. The, the facilities over here ain't there. It, there's a lot different. And um, I happen to think that this is just one big model railroad for the guy designing this. Which, hey, I don't, I don't blame him. All right. Passenger time. Come into our passenger car, click both stations, or both depots. That, that's, that's a bit of uh, railroad trivia there for you. A station is any named point along the line. Uh, right here, East Whittier. This, this little sign is a station. Okay? Passenger bu buildings where you pick up passengers, like this, is called a depot. And we have 24 passengers waiting. Yippee. number one doing? Uh, 
95%? Oh, whoa, we may have her up and running today. <laughs> So, we've stopped at the station, and we'll be picking up passengers. For these early runs, um, I recommend setting the locomotive to stop, because uh, after a certain amount of time, she'll want to take off automatically, because that's what the AI does. Um, but, honestly, running this thing without it being jam-packed, full is a waste so we'll be waiting an hour oh yep repairs are done on number one and number two tries to take off but since number we set number two to zero she won't move Wait another hour. Oh, we have our uh, interchange just got serviced. 43 cars! And we got a bonus of 3,700. Which, let me see here. Alright, our loan is paid off! Woohoo! Okay, then. Um, hum de hum de hum. How are we going to do this? Because old number one is stuck in the shed and not. I told you! I done told you! This was going to be jam shucking packed. Um, right, and we should probably have number two bring the Ela Bridge shit up, uh, with it as a mixed train, and basically, while, uh, while it's handling, while the passengers are doing their thing at Ela, it, the, uh, um, Number two can go ahead and deliver all that. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. Number two, uh, go ahead and reverse and go back into the yard. The passenger... They don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So, passengers, once they're on the passenger car, they don't They do not care. I'm sure eventually they're going to be changing that, but for right now, um, zero F's given about anything. All right, so we're going to have number two first pull number one out and get it fired up. Then number one is going to come up here, and let's see how many cars. One, two, three, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we'll pull these six off first and shove them back on here. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and save real quick. And then number two can grab all the Ela Bridge stuff and run back up to the station with it. And then number one can go ahead and top off whatever needs to be topped off.
And you know what? We're going to top off number one, or number two's tender as well. Probably should have done that earlier, but I can't. I mean, shit. She's, uh, still three quarters, more or less. For this next part, I'm going to be doing this myself. Long break. Booyah! I can't. Alright, well, um, I can't open the hatch. <laughs> oh, well. Top off the coal. So, um, my plans for this series, um, as I was saying earlier, I'd like to make it a multiplayer one, but for right now, uh, Steam Short Lines of America is going to be a single player affair. Um, going to play Railroader, going to play um, Railroads Online, and uh, also um, uh, Century of Steam whenever it comes out. Uh, I am very excited for Heist's game. Um, Heist is the man. But I can open the hatch. Oh, that's a bug. But unfortunately, I can't. 
uh, report bugs um, to the devs because I'm modded. Since they don't officially support mods yet. Now, I probably could get that other coal car going, but... I mean, we still got 2000 bucks in the bank account right now, even after paying off the rest of that loan. <laughs> 